So here are some of the assumptions and some of the notation that goes into putting together a Poisson process model. The first assumption is the probability that an event occurs in a narrow time interval of width w is lambda times w. This was seen two slides back when we were looking at putting together a customer arrival process for Sven and Barry. Number two, the probability that two events will occur simultaneously is zero. And this applies to the case where you have, for example, the probability of two customers walking through the door to a, of a bank at exactly the same time. That probability is zero. That's not an unreasonable assumption at all. The third assumption is the number of events in non-overlapping time intervals are independent. So there is sort of a memoryless property that goes on here which says if I have six events in one time interval that has nothing to do with the number of events that occur in a not another time interval that doesn't overlap with the first interval. Here's some additional notation. Some authors like to set the origin at zero and they call that time t0. The event times are t1, t2, t3, etc. And here is an axis where this dot represents the random time of the first event t1. This t2 is the random time of the second event and t3 is the random time of the third event in the Poisson process and that's given by this dot on this time axis. The time of the nth event, oops I missed one, time between events is x1, x2, x3, etc. So x1 is the time from the origin 0 to the first event, then x2 is the time between the first and second events, and x3 is the time between the second and third events, etc. The time of the nth event therefore is going to be x1 plus x2 all the way up to xn. In other words, for example, t3 will be x1 plus x2 plus x3. These are the assumptions and the notation that will carry forward as we start to put together the formal definitions for a Poisson process.